Suella Braverman is, po is posing herself as the candidate that um, uh, is the center of the debate uh, about migration and about reform. And so at the moment, she comes across as being inconsistent uh, because she wants to be at the heart of that issue. So the other day she was saying that the Conservative Party should embrace Mr. Farage, and now she says that she is not supporting reform. Uh, in a way, she can't have it both ways. She can, because she is Suella Braverman, and she, like Farage, survives on uh, negation. She has nothing positive to offer, she is simply there to stir the pot, and she does that very well. She learns from her from the master. The master is Farage, and if if you look at you you you've got the two main parties. Both of them are focusing on migration, and neither really wants to talk very much about it. Labour is going to repeal the Rwanda bill, uh, but is it going to repeal the other two bills that go with it? The uh, Nationality and Borders Act, um, which which makes it illegal to cross the English Channel, um, and uh, and flies in the face of the 1951 Refugee Convention, which says that however you arrive in a country, once you claim asylum, you are legalized. While that process is ongoing, so there may be illegal routes. But you are not an illegal migrant. That, that, that is what the 1951 Refugee Convention says. And Suella Braverman's <coughs> legislation overturns that principle. The Labour Party wants to put VAT on school fees. Um, <coughs> it wants no rises in income tax, national insurance or corporation tax. It wants clean power by 2030. The Conservatives want a binding legal annual cap on immigration. They want to remove illegal migrants to Rwanda with monthly flights. They want to abolish national insurance um, for the four million self-employed. And they want to bring back national service for school leavers, a very small amount. And reform, reform wants to, wants to go even further, wants to abolish the um, our, our commitment to the ECHR wants us to leave the ECHR. There are people in the Conservative Party who are saying the same thing. Freeze immigration completely. Introduce a migrant tax. Force employers to pay higher national insurance rates of 20% for every foreign worker they employ. Um, an idea previously put forward by Suella herself. So, Reform and Suella are highly linked, highly linked, uh, even if they don't finally combine. I cannot imagine that um, in a new parliament, Suella Braverman won't, if there are any reform um, candidates who are elected. And, and, and that is a very, very big if, because, because of the first-past-the-post system, there is every possibility that reform may get quite a high vote share, but won't get any candidates into Parliament, including Farage himself. But I, my, my, my hunch is that Farage will be, will, will definitely be in Parliament. He may be the only Reform MP, and he will then join the Conservative Party and chum up with the rump of the Conservative Party. And I imagine Suella Braverman will be there. The Conservative Party, my my. My prophecy is that the Conservative Party will lurch so far to the right under Braverman and Farage that it will never be elected again. And it may have to rebrand itself with a different name. Um, the irony of this is the Conservative Party is moving out of the sphere of influence at the same time that more right-wing parties are taking control in mainstream Europe under people like uh, Maloney in Italy, uh, who, of course, has a good relationship, as we saw from the front page of the Times yesterday, 
I think it was the Times with the photograph of Maloney and Sunak embracing. Uh, you know, she also incidentally has a good relationship with Albania, which she has not destroyed, unlike Suella Braverman. Because the Albanian outsourcing process may well be uh, a legitimate and successful form of um, uh, a way, way to deal with migration crisis uh, in in the run up to reviewing and renegotiating the 1951 Refugee Convention, which isn't essential. We could have been part of that, and we could have been part of that Albanian plan had we not been uh, controlled by a mad Home Secretary who saw it as her opportunity to stand at the dispatch box and um, harass uh, an, ent an entire country and an entire nation, many of whose people come, ha have come to Britain and are working legally in our country, and came out in force in a huge wave of protesters uh, after she stood at the dispatch box and screamed invader. Their uh, Prime Minister Eddie Rama and the Crown Prince, Prince Lekka, both wrote to the Home Office, both wrote, I think, to the Prime Minister as well as to the Home Secretary, and she, the Home Secretary, couldn't be bothered to respond, never did respond. David Cameron was in the process of repairing that damage on the day Rishi Sunak called his election, and he came back, leaving uh, the people in Tirana awaiting all, all, all the festivities, posters hanging everywhere of David Cameron, and all all to no avail. She did appalling damage to our reputation abroad. Suella Braverman.